my hand. I've been trapped on this train for a week. You've been here your whole life. I should be asking you. It doesn't seem to be powered by anything. Numbers are quantitative. They represent things. But this one just sits there like a dumb number, getting dumber every minute that it sits there. Because it's dumb. I see you. Oh, stop it. Maybe it's a pizzeria that only serves cold pizza. That'd be creative, huh? Uh, well, you know, I want to help, but numbers on hands don't really have any connection to shadow monsters, and I'm not really a saving kind of person. I'm more of a self-looking-ish person. Self-ish? Hmm. Ah, that is not the word I want to use. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got my own stuff to deal with. Well, I guess it's time to move on and go back to life before aliens flew in and trashed half of Manhattan. And for me in the cafe, that means getting some customers back in. A bunch of our regulars were happily sipping their mochaccinos when it all went down, and I haven't seen them since. You don't think anything happened to them, do you? I'm hoping they're all just still hiding. Huh. I think I got my push. That I need a break from their crap. You got a black and white suit? No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. It was. Until an hour ago. The system went down. Citywide. Every tower. They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Maybe. I'll figure it out later. Right now we need to get the towers back online. Fast. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. You break it, you buy it. Did you learn anything about his motive? You have that effect on a lot of people. I tolerate you. Something's wrong. The military police can't be behind this. They're too careful of their reputation to use amateurs. This is more like... They'd know the wagon would be followed. Its support team wouldn't be far behind. Third time. And his form's changed again. He's not even 10 meters tall. And some of his body lacks muscle. Plus, Aaron's scrawny ass is hanging out. Great. The brat's at it again. Off to the rescue. She never learns, does she? Not the outcome we'd hoped for. Okay, that's enough! Stop right there! Any more of those noble-ass excuses, and I'm gonna break both your damn legs. Not too badly. They'll heal just fine. But you'll be way too busted up to even think about joining us on the operation. And it'll be a bitch to get to the toilet. Kenny! The captain gave me a message. As of now, it's not just Titans. We're fighting humans, too. I remember my parents saying that my dad's side, the Ackermans, were persecuted when they lived in the cities. My mom said her ancestors were Eastern. Her family's appearance made it difficult for them to fit in. Both groups were chased deep in the mountains near the edge of the walls. That's how my parents met. But my father never told me why the Ackermans were persecuted. He looked the same as all of you. So I don't think he was of a different race. You really came? I haven't prepared anything at all. It's fine, I ran them off. That depends if you work with me or not. If I told you I needed one more person, what would you say? I see. The pain is gone. I'll just do the rest myself. I don't have an original body. Have you heard of Dr. Bakaru's emergency medicine system? I don't know the details, but years ago a number of civilians were apparently killed by a chemical weapon. A pregnant woman and the man assumed to be her husband were among the victims. I don't even know their names. By coincidence, someone on the scene had the right equipment and they were able to salvage the brain of the fetus. The point is that I lack any memory of a body. So this phantom pain is the ghost of a memory I don't have. A false idea that has entered into my mind. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. 
I just never expected he'd be so interesting. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. I look forward to our next dance.